Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and in this video we are talking about how you can use your fingerprint sensor on Nokia 6 and the Nokia 7 Plus 6.1 actually which come with the same version of Android and how you can use this sensor to lock and unlock your app so nobody else get to see that. Now we know that both Nokia 6.1 and Nokia 7 Plus run on stock Android, in fact all the Nokia phones do. So they don't have any inbuilt or native feature that allows you to lock down your apps. So in this case, we'll be using a third party app called as AppLock to lock and unlock our apps. Just before we start, what you can do is go into the Play Store, find this app called as AppLock, install it and you will have to go through some of the basic steps. It will ask you to have a pattern that is specifically for the AppLock and an email ID in case you forget and you want to recover your AppLock password. So once installed, open it. Like you can see, it is asking me for a pattern. I'm going to put it in. And it gives a plethora of operations and features. There are a lot of features that you can use, but let's stick to what we are talking about on locking down apps. So switch to protect. And here you can see you have an option called as unlock settings. So it's a pattern thing. So you'll use the same pattern to unlock the apps. Then you have security settings where I can put a recovery question and an email ID. The email ID thing does work well. And then you have fingerprint lock. Now, before I go ahead, I'll tell you that you need to add your fingerprint using the settings feature where you have an option to add fingerprint. So don't forget to add that before you come here. Otherwise it doesn't work. Now let's see a basic function. How does it work without the fingerprint? Now what I'm going to do is lock down some of the apps and not use the fingerprint lock, but only the pattern thing. So I'm going to privacy. And let's say I'm going to lock down the Play Store. It asks for permission if that's the first time you're doing it. So we'll go here and give the permission the app needs. So just turn it on. Now that it's done, your Google Play Store is locked. You can see that green lock icon there. Now let's go to the Play Store and see what happens. So you can see it's locked actually. And it's the app locking ask you for a pattern. So I can give a pattern and it unlocks. Now if I minimize it and go back again, it doesn't, oh, it did. I think something changed actually with the app lock. I'm sure I've seen that before that it didn't used to ask for the pattern or a fingerprint sensor if I used to come back. So that's a good thing. So that's sorted, let's get inside. We'll open it up. Well, of course it will ask. And now if I go to protect and enable the fingerprint lock, it's ready. You don't have to do anything other than this. So now let's go back to this and then launch the app lock and it is asking for a pattern. Now I'll give you a closer look of what has changed here. Can you see a small icon here? It actually is the indication that you can use your fingerprint sensor. Watch it turn green. Do you see that? So that's how it works. It's an indication that fingerprint thing is enabled there. Now I'll go and minimize this. Go back to app lock actually now. Just launch it from here. And I can see there's a fingerprint icon there on top as well for fingerprint or the app lock thing. So it turns green and it unlocks without a pattern as well. Now we'll go to some of the settings and just have a look what features are there. So we'll go to general tab and you have something called as allow a brief exit. So if I turn it on, so let's say if you're switching between two apps and you don't want your app to get locked. So you just enable this and you just say like, you know, 30 seconds is not a problem if I want to come back. Then there's another setting called as relock after screen on. So it relocks all the application after the screen is locked. That's a good thing to do. We'll just enable it. 
Then we have called as magic setting, which has got like a hide app lock, random keyboard, cover, these things you can have a look on your own. But that's what we are sticking to the general one. And now if we go here and let's say launch the app lock, it has for a password, just unlock it. So you can see that animation showed up. Now we'll wait for 30 seconds and let's see what happens. Oh, there's another feature I'm going to show you just uh, that's only for the stock Android version. If you long press on this, you get an option called as unlock all or a guest access that you can give to somebody to the apps you have logged down. So if you do unlock all, it'll lock, it'll unlock all the apps. And when you launch them, it doesn't ask for a password. Now there's one thing we should check actually, if we do multitasking, it still shows the preview of uh, what was locked. The Google Play Store was showing me app lock. It still shows that. There is no way to give a blur effect, something Vivo has done. And I think even MIUI has this feature, but it isn't available right now with the app lock. Okay, I guess we should be over 30 seconds. So if we go here, so it asks, now I'm going to minimize this and do it again. And it doesn't ask. So you get the idea of that 30 second window. Now if I lock my phone, unlock it. Okay. And if I go back here, well, it didn't work actually. So we'll go back to the settings of app lock, not this one. So we'll just go here. And if you go to protect, general so we'll relock after screen on so it doesn't really work but it should work in general but in any case that's that's how the whole thing works that's how you can lock all your apps on nokia 6.1 and nokia 7 plus even on the older version of nokia nokia it's Roku, any nokia android phone just install this app it actually works with any phone to be honest with the fingerprint sensor so that's your app to lock down everything on any Android phone here for Nokia 6.1 and Nokia 7 Plus. So guys, if you did like the video, do let us know in the comment section. Tell us how we can improve our videos, what things we are missing. And if you like the video, do share it with your friends, hit the subscribe to our channel and also watch these two videos at the end. Thanks for watching.